So two things were being obvious this week in the entertainment world. Patrick Leem was going to be traded to the Montreal Canadiens for the Columbus Blue Jackets. We just didn't know that Harris would go back. But this was the, the, the biggest open secret in Hollywood since they first got together. Jennifer Lopez has filed from divorce from Ben Affleck. Ooh, I can feel a broken heart through the airwaves tonight. Now, uh, they are officially parting ways according to entry on the L.A. Superior Court docket. Lopez filed for dissolution of their two-year marriage in L.A. on Tuesday, which coincides with the anniversary of their Rice Board Georgia said wedding ceremony in 2022, <coughs> after they first eloped in L.A. a month prior. So for, for the five people out there that don't know, Jennifer Lopez was the queen of the late 20th century, early 2000s, while Ben Affleck was a king in his own mind. The breakup comes after reports the two have been living separately, Lopez canceled her summer tour to spend time with her family, and he sold her Beverly Hills home. CNN uh, did reach out to representatives for Lopez and Affleck for a comment, but they were too busy counting their money. Now, their divorce marks yet another turn in a love story between the two superstars that has played out in the spotlight over decades. Lopez and Affleck's marriage came more than 20 years after he first met on the set of the comedy uh, Gili, where they played criminal stock on a job together and struck up a real-life friendship which eventually turned to a relationship which was uh, taken care of in the video Jenny on the Block. Over the years, they both married others and had families, but Team Benefer rejoiced in Benefer 2.0 when they reconciled in 2021, and that's a real thing. Now, Benefer and Benefer 2.0 are names given to many media to a high, high-profile relationship between American actor and filmmaker Ben Affleck and American singer Jennifer Lopez. The pair had a widely publicized 18-month romance from 2002 to 2004 and were engaged to be married. After their breakup, they maintained a friendship. They rekindled their romantic relationship in early 2021 and got married in July 2022. They have starred in two films together, including Geely and Jersey Girl, and appeared in two music videos together. Of course, Jenny from the Block, where Affleck basically worshipped her ass, and Marry Me, the ballad version in 2022. Although it had crossed paths several times before, most notably at Academy Awards the 70th and at the premiere Armageddon, Bowl 98, in which Affleck starred in. The first major meeting of Affleck and Lopez took place in late 2001 on the set of the film Gili, while Lopez was still married to her backup dancer, Chris Judd. It is rumored by the tabloids that the pair had started an affair due to their friendly and flirty ways, but they both denied these claims. People were comparing them to Elizabeth Taylor and uh, Richard Burton on a set of Cleopatra. That's how crazy it was, stating that to her strictly friends. After wrapping filming for the movie in March 2022, Affleck had spent a reported $18,000 on a set of half-page advertisements to express the pleasure he had working with Lopez. Well, he couldn't send her roses, so, you know, that, that hurts. He had defended his reasoning for doing so, stating that he had been ashamed of his preconceived notions of Lopez. Later in April, it was reported that Affleck and Lopez were cozying up during the opening of a restaurant, Madres, which means, I think, uh, devil or death. Lopez and Judd separated that summer, and Lopez entered a relationship with Affleck. This was after a uh, uh, thing of P. Diddy. They were photographed together in July 2002. Now, Lopez and Affleck relationship gave the first couple uh, the Hollywood name Benefer. Lopez, the single Jenny from the Block, which featured Affleck in the music video, brought on even more attention to the couple. Now, there was a whole bunch of things going on, uh, public, uh, public togetherness and all that. But they eventually broke up after dating for him for four months before deciding to separate. The former couple's second movie, Jersey Girl, premiered two months later in March 2004, garnering another box office bomb for the year. A lot of people think that Gili is the best uh, is the best bomb of all time. Affleck and Lopez remained in contact in the years after a breakup and spoke highly of each other in public. Affleck called out sexist and racist critics for comments about Lopez, while Lopez called the constant media attention as one of the main reasons of their breakup. In 2008, he discussed how he felt through his relationship with Lopez, saying that neither of them anticipated the degree of attention they would receive. Now, of course, he started a relationship with Jennifer Garner. Now, Lopez went to on to marry Mark Antony, the singer, five months after Lopez and Affleck split. The following year, in 2005, he married actress Jennifer Garner, which is the Melissa Gibbard of the modern era, a la Rob Lowe. Now, Lopez and Antony entered her seven-year marriage in 2011, officially divorcing in 2014, while Affleck and Garner officially announced her split in 2015 and her divorce was finalized in 2018. Now, 
Affleck and Lopez were photographed together for the first time since their initial romance on May 11, 2021. Uh, some two weeks later, they were spotted at Lopez's rental home in Miami, with Affleck wearing the watch Lopez had given her in her 2002 Jenny from the Block music video. I don't know how they found that. On June 1st of that year, they were photographed holding each other, uh, their first public display of affection in a rekindled romance. Some two weeks after this, photos and video of Affleck and Lopez kissing were released in media for the first time in almost two decades, confirming that their romance was back on. She publicly confirmed her rekindled relationship that July when they were on vacation in France and Italy. On September 10, 21, the couple had made their red carpet debut for the first time in 18 years for the premiere of Affleck's Bomb, The Last Duel, during the Venice Film Festival. Both Affleck and Lopez have spoken of the gift of a second chance with each other since reuniting. For Valentine's Day, Affleck and directed and gifted Lopez shared through her Ortho J. Lo e email a remix of her song On My Way. He also made a second cameo appearance in an official Lopez music video called Marry Me, which is the ballad version. Uh, she announced on April 8, 2022, that the pair were engaged again 20 years after her first proposal. The couple married on July 16 of that year, filing their marriage uh, license in LA. Lopez legally changed her name to Jennifer Affleck and confirmed the marriage the next day. The following month, he had a wedding celebration for family and friends. In June 2024, the couple faced intense scrutiny over the state of their marriage when divorce rumors circulated online. Of course, with the start of the Olympics, everybody dropped it. Now, she told the Wall Street Journal in December, to, uh, Affleck told the Wall Street Journal, you know, one of these things I really value across all facets of my life is how it was handled in a way that reflected that. My life now reflects not just the person I want to be, but the person that I really feel like I am, which is not perfect, uh, but somebody who tries very hard and cares very much about being honest. Now, they initially got engaged in November uh, 2002 after Affleck popped a question with a custom-made 6.1 carat pink diamond ring from Harry Winston. Again, he also appeared to uh, uh, Jenny in the block. Now, before they were set to wed, in September 2003, they postponed their, postponed their nuptials, citing excessive media attention. And of course, January 2004, they officially uh, quit. Now, it appeared to be a fairy tale when the couple went Instagram official in July 2021, months after Lopez ended her engagement with baseball cheat Alex Rodriguez. I feel so lucky and happy and proud to be with him, Lopez told People. It's a beautiful love story that we got a second chance. Now, in 2024, Lopez released The Greatest Love Story Never Told, a documentary that told the story of her independently produced album, This Is Me Now, and her decades-long quest for self-love. In a film, Affleck said he learned to compromise with Lopez about her desire to be more public about their private life. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we like to say in the business, no surprise from my side, but I feel bad. There's a lot of Latino and uh, New England fans of Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. It's hard to find pure love. I've been joking a little bit. But when anybody breaks up, it doesn't matter who it is. Uh, you know, there, there's an interesting stuff. But see, Ben Affleck, I think he's in love with himself. Uh, no offense on that because Ben is a talented guy, Jennifer's a talented guy, but I mean, when they were comparing again, uh, Taylor and Burton, if anything I can compare is Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid that's a plug for the new Reagan movie so <laughs> so we, we think and of course with Meg Ryan or Russell Crowe is Ben Affleck go, uh, go chasing another woman as we speak kind of truth be told, I really don't know and I really don't care all I know I remember when Jennifer was a fly girl and I can say this, one of the worst dramatic performances of all time is Ben Affleck and Days and Confused playing that fucking crackpot that was whacking all those uh, freshman uh, people. He should have been charged with child abuse for damage to a kid under the age of 16 on the set because he was getting too much joy out of it. But in the words of Kevin, Kevin Smith, <laughs> uh, he almost ruined my career but didn't ruin his. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> the big loser is Kevin Smith because if he would have got close for a long while, you know, Kevin Smith would have done another movie. This is like maybe me, uh, me, Jay and Solomon Bob's strike back too. When it will be over? When, Lord? When? When it will be over? So is it a real Ben Affleck broke up with Jennifer Lopez or is it a Jay and Solomon Bob Ben Affleck? And as we like to say, maybe in maybe in the next movie, Jennifer, how do you like those of them apples? You think uh, a crackpot on the tree is going to change just because you had your 
your, uh, you know, uh, maybe latest plastic surgery. And Jennifer Lopez is a smart chick. She's like Halle Berry, but she has a, like Hero Halle Berry has trouble with men. You know, but Jennifer, one of the, be the best and most important Latino stars of all time. She don't need Ben Affleck. By the way, Jennifer, if you're looking for a PR director, call me up in New Brunswick. I can tell you how to get away from the problems. Rent something in St. Andrews, New Brunswick, near the, the downtown. We won't bother you. Because nobody in New Brunswick likes Ben Affleck. We like you, so uh, have a good one. If you like what you're doing, give us a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Bye.